friends, this is Maria Riles with the Greensboro Public Library. Let's look at what we need to do to get started on our um, Native American style basket. So we're going to start with just a plain paper plate. This is one of the thicker ones. The thicker the plate, the more sturdy your basket will be. But you can use whatever you have that's convenient. Um, this is also one of the smaller size, but you can use the larger size as well. Um, it will take a little bit more yarn. So, for this one, we're going to start with our plain paper plate, and we're going to draw a circle in the middle. Um, I'm just using, you know, um, a recycled cup to make my circle, and I'm going to just lightly trace it with a pencil in the center. So, there we go. So, here's one I did earlier. The next step that you will need to take is to measure the perimeter or edge of your plate. So it's easier if you have a flexible tape measure, but if you don't, if you just have a ruler, just use a piece of yarn to wrap around your plate and then measure that yarn with your ruler. So I'm going to wrap this around the edge. And this is about 22 inches around. So I want to divide my plate into an odd number of sections, um, 9 or 11 or 13. 22 is easily divisible by 11, so that's what we'll go with. And so 22 divided by 11 is going to make each section about 2 inches wide. So I'm going to mark my plate in 2 inch sections. So I've started this one. I'm using my same pencil. I'm just going to measure approximately two and make a little mark and then keep going around two more and make a little mark until I've gone all the way around the plate until I meet back where I started and I should have 11 sections based on my math. So, once I've got all of this marked, I'm going to just cut a straight line at each mark to the center circle. So, start at the edge. It's a little harder to cut the thicker plate, so you may have to have an adult help you with this. Start at the mark and cut straight until I stop at the circle, and I'll do that all the way around each section. So here's one that I've already cut, and let me show you that there are 11 sections. So starting here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. For our weaving to turn out right, we need to have that odd number of sections. That's very important. Now, there, having cut all of them, you can see it looks a little bit like a flower, but we want to make a little more room for our yarn in between each section. So I'm going to take my scissors again. And I'm going to cut just a little V at each line. So starting slightly to the edge of it, cut just a little tiny little pizza slice, tiny little triangular section out of that slot. And then do the same on the other side, going around each time, just cutting a little tiny sliver until my openings, my V-shaped openings are a little bit wider. Now you do, these don't have to be perfect. Each one is not going to be exactly the same as the one beside it, but that's okay. Just keep going around. Until you've got some wider openings. So here's one that I've completed. You can see that does look sort of like a flower. And those little V shapes are going to, what, uh, are going to be what helps us turn this flat, flattish plate into... Um, the rounded basket shape. So stay tuned, we'll start the weaving in just a moment. Okay, now we're ready to do the weaving. So we have our base that we just cut, and we're gonna bend up those little petals or spokes, the warp sections up a little bit. If you've done weaving in the past, we've done some other projects and videos, we talk about trying to keep our weaving smooth and flat. Um, but this one is different. We want to pull in the sides or the spokes of this shape to form our basket. So I'm bending this up just a little bit. I'm starting with this brown yarn. When you do this project, you can choose some yarn that looks natural 
um, imitating the Native American style baskets that use bark or grass <clears throat> or reeds to form their basket, or you can use a brighter yarn. So we're gonna just start at one of our V shapes and we're gonna slide the end of our yarn in. You can tape that piece in there. You can just hold it with your finger and it cover it up as we go around, whatever works for you. And then we're gonna do the over under um, weaving like we've done before. You may have done this with paper or on a flat cardboard loom or a picture frame loom. So we're just gonna do it with these um, sections of our plate. So over this one, go through the middle and go under the next one, over, under, going around the circle, over and under, over and under, back to where we started and we're gonna pull it a little bit tighter so that those sides of our basket will start to form. Now keep going, so we, over that one, we'll go under again, around and around, and pulling it a little bit tighter each time to make the basket form. Our piece of yarn that I started with is about six feet long, um, if you have a very tangly yarn, you might want to use a shorter piece. Um, thicker yarn will fill up your uh, basket shape faster, so keep those things in mind when you're choosing and cutting your yarn. Okay, so let me do that a little bit more, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, you can see that I've finished weaving my first length of yarn, um, and I'm down to the end here. So here's how we're going to add our next color going to just take a different piece. You can continue with the same color or a different color to make stripes on your basket. I'm going to just tie those ends together, just sort of an overhand knot where I put the two ends together, make a loop and pull them through. And keep with on with my weaving. Make sure that you're sliding it down to the bottom of the section each time. And if it works out well, our knot will be on the inside and we can use the end of our scissors to tuck that under our weaving at the end. So just continue with your weaving around, over and under. You can see the thicker yarn goes a little faster. Um, and it's gonna take about 16 to 20 yards of yarn to do this size of basket and I'm pulling it a little bit tighter to make our sides come up a little bit more. So just continue the same way, tying on a new color or a new piece of yarn whenever you get to the end and tucking that knot inside. So here are two others that I have done. This one I used brighter color yarn um, and a different one each time to make some stripes and you can see how as, it, as you weave it pulls in the shape. This one I used a little bit of a thicker yarn, so that goes faster, and it's a little bit more of a natural color with some grays and tans in there as well as the other colors uh, to make our basket. And I did not pull this one quite as tight, so you can get the look that you like, either a tighter weave or a slightly looser one. So I hope you'll give this project a try when you get um, about a quarter to a half inch away from your edge, you're going to want to stop and, and tie your yarn inside and tuck that end with your scissors. Just slide, slide that yarn end underneath with the tip of your scissors. Again, a grown-up adult might have to help you push that under, and that will be your basket.